I'm the fifth generation to farm in the family. The original farm is a century farm over east of here. We don't farm it anymore. The family still owns it, so that's pretty neat. But today we've got about 3,500 acres. Me and Tara have about 1,500 or so. Then the rest is my dad's that we help manage. And then we've got rice, corn, and soybeans. Yeah, just the legacy being the fifth generation and still going, it's kind of neat because you think about when great grandpa and even daddy and pops, they would clear the ground that they farmed and they'd pick up chunks. And so thankfully I just have to do that when the river goes down every year and not new ground, but that's neat when you think about it that they started from forest and then went to crop ground. Unlike Brad, I did not grow up on a farm. I wasn't raised on a farm, but um, after we met, it kind of became part of our life. So, um, in mine specifically, I work at a marketing agency in Searcy full time. Um, and then, as far as my role on the farm, I would say investor, supporter, just encourager, and really um, raising our son Silas is my primary focus. Um, for, for day in and day out. I know with us, like most people, you think feeding the world and that's like, with our products, we really don't feed people right then, but our corn will go to chicken plants and new art. You can't do things like how you've always done it. That's one thing that me and dad still have conflict over some days. You know, Brad, Brad definitely is, this is our business, it's not, um, I mean, you do farming because you love it. You have to, you have to love it. It's, this is not an easy job, for sure. Um, so making things more efficient, making things better every year, um, setting up our farm for Silas if he wants to, or generations to come, you have to be efficient and um, you have to continue to innovate or you won't be successful. We had some tough, some tough losses with the farm. Um, things just weren't super productive and that's that's from no fault of our own but um, I remember thinking is this worth it like is is this what we want to do um, but then was was quickly realized if not us then who who's gonna do it you know there has to be someone who continues this or that nobody's feeding the world nobody's providing so um, you know, I never let that cross my mind again. <laughs> but if, if not us, then who? Every day. So. <laughs> Every day.